We're here in Chile and Dicka Springs, Colorado, where the air is thin and the smoke is thick. It's Pop Brownie Day here at Sold Out No Authority Field. And the crowd is fired up for some football after an intense pregame screening of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Grim Bay Attackers battle the Mile High Chronic. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. NFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh well maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on he's got the ball now and he's gonna try and score bam say good night to that guy bricks uh, good night to that guy bricks you're an idiot and it's first and ten Two. Hot. Hot. He picks up 10 yards on that play. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Says, I don't think so. They called a time warp dirty trick and negate that previous play like it never happened. Did it? Uh, does that mean that I didn't just chug this beer too? Or wet myself? Oh, I am so confused. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. It's a four-yard gain. Third down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And 
and it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Third down and the punter is warming up. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The 30. The 20. The 10. And that was a game-breaking punt return for a touchdown. Man, that play just changed the entire momentum of this game. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, bad. Didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. 
They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kid that was setting up an easy kill. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. He just picked the receiver's pocket and the defense gets a turnover. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Second down and six. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. He picks up a two. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Smokes, he just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. First down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. He's more of a downest guy than a speed feet friend. He's running from his demons, it's clear. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is. You ever have a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass? Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's a boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust! In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. Uh, that's a good point, Grim. just called a time warp dirty trick and now it's like everything that just happened didn't get Brick's mom on the phone quick I want to use 13,000 of those time warps and I'm doing mistakes she did about 35 years ago oh man he just killed that guy when the play was over 
Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Third down and, well, good luck. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Oh, man, that worm just ate the player alive. You got to steer clear of the pits. You know, my sister had a tapeworm almost that big. Name was Frederick. I didn't know that they made great house pets. You just got to sleep in leather underpants. The little buggers like the burrow. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Eight. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. There's a bloody red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Third down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two, hot, hot. Oh! Oh, the turkeys on Thanksgiving, the NFL, players. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. And the defense calls a Strawberry Fields dirty trick. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. And Matt Newton just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. Oh, I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. And it's first and ten. QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Second down and nine. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses. Oh, nice hit. Oh, my God. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. 
He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 First and ten. Full man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. Pick up the first down with a nice... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. QB says, I don't know. You can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, with a punishing hit. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. to stop the clock. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First down, QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. And it's 
First and ten. And there's another. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. And it's good! You know, when in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Second down and a lot. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hey. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey. Got that mutant boom dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Third down and the punter is warming up. One yard is better than nothing, but not by much. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and seven. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought 
I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. I feel like I've been here before. Is this deja vu? This is like our Brazilian season, dumbass. Actually, I think the QB might as well. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over here. The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out on the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And another interception. This. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. harder than that and that is unfortunate and it's first and ten oh the strawberry fields dirty trick as my mentor hunter used to say i don't advocate drugs alcohol narcotics or insanity nicely done for a first down And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. Second down, the side. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps outside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third down and ten. Come on, man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Well, why go for one when you can go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you talk at this point with multiple. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Oh, boy, I can't help it. 
Himmel. <lacht> oh. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. running like an old guy looking for a bathroom first down the offense is down to their last running back when he bites the dust they can only pass yeah well at least they don't have to forfeit man that's right but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers and it's first and ten hot one hot two hot 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 was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot. I'll say this. The offense is putting together a hell of a drive here. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. another pick. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. The defense lost another defensive back and only two remain on the roster. They might consider going into a goal line defense now since they only had two players in their secondary. It's always better to play with more players than less. Thank you for that, Mr. Obvious. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot. Oh. 
and that is caught for a first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but uh, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Hot one. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. All you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Now well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. <laughs> and the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Come on, man, you gotta catch that. I don't catch anything, Rim. I'm retired. Second down and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Briggs, because that was us. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one in the end zone. Nicely done! I can't run like that unless it's Cooper Knight and Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. I'm kind of not clenching his cheeks though. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. 
Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot three. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now, in his, and he just slipped away like a greased pig. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Throws another pick. He should have eaten his Sleedies this morning. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 10. Touchdown! My cellmate in prison did a dance like this my first night in the big house. It was trouble then, and it's trouble now. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. He wants it. And he's off to the races. The defense is down to their surviving defensive back. When he dies, they lose the game by forfeit. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. any mistakes here just kick the ball through the upright for god's sake it's good when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. And he punched his way out of it. Oh, what the brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot 
Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 two. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And that'll bring up second and one. This is your brain, and this is your brain. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. And that'll bring up third and one. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. It's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. First and two. Oh, look at this guy break tackle. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Look at those moves. His teammates better compliment his dancing skills. Otherwise, there's going to be a pile of dead bison in the locker room again. I'm a house killer. I'm a killer. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for you. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. And it's first and ten. Kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone.
And it's first and ten. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brett's match fixing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. They're going for two points. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. With no players left on their roster and an empty bag of weed, the Mile High Chronic loses by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so...